Hello, my name is Zohar. I'm a mother to a cure child and a designer. I specialize in data visualization design. I'm privileged to present this project to you, the Polaris project, which is a set of communication tools to clarify leukemia treatment for use by medical teams, children, and their families. My project to illustrate and design the leukemia protocol started after my daughter recovered from leukemia. As I noticed the importance of explaining to her the treatment, and as I went through the overwhelming experience myself. Since 2017, the illustrated maps have been given to patients in Schneider Children Medical Center of Israel, with the support from Dr. Gilad as medical and development advisor. It is now a large scale project of SIOP Europe, CCI Europe, and Selviel supporting us wholeheartedly with an unrestricted educational grant. We are a large team of doctors, nurses, parents, advocates, psychologists, medical writers, and designers. The pilot for the IOBFM and ALEC protocols are launching these days in 10 languages. It is in the final stages of the Altogether Protocols Illustrations development. After this pilot, we are aiming to translate and distribute in all the languages of the countries that use those protocols. Let's start at the very beginning. When your child is diagnosed with cancer, it can feel like being inside a tornado. Then we start a mutual journey, the child, his family, and the medical team. We all need to communicate, but the language spoken in this new medical world, the terminology, is unfamiliar to the patients and their families. Enormous efforts are needed to start this complicated journey. This is how I felt the moment I was told my daughter is diagnosed with leukemia. I was thrown into the rabbit hole. Fear force lifted my stomach to my throat. All the strange words and terms the doctor mentioned to me were whirling around me while I was falling down into this new, frightening, life-threatening, unknown world. At that point, parents are required to deal with the treatment protocol, which is usually presented orally, with pages written in purely medical terminology and layout. The medical teams are doing their best to explain the situation and treatment protocol in a constellation which is highly challenging. And from the other side, we have the shocked parents trying to understand while at a state of an emotional hurricane, disoriented and mentally paralyzed from terror. Parents often claim that it's too complicated to understand in their situation. The design process usually begins with identifying a need. The need to better understand the protocol was obvious to me and to families I met. We wanted to get out from the shocked free state we were at, to regain back the sense of control which was taken away from us. But getting confident took too much time as no tool or method could guide us. I came up with the idea of simplifying the protocol by designing this visual language that children and parents can understand therefore easier for the medical team to explain while being faithful to the original protocol's medical information and structure. A trajectory that shows the process with its significant days of treatment and procedures so they can all follow it visually together. Let me zoom in the details. The path is color coded. Each color represents a phase. Similar phases have the same color. For example, induction is green and consolidation one is purple. Those colors are used accordingly for the delayed intensification. Each path is broken down into treatment days with IV treatment icons that provide a positive outlook. They are also color coded to make them easily identifiable. For example, pedispaginase is purple throughout the entire treatment. A distinguished to the inpatient treatment with moon and stars, so even a young child can understand their differences. Key reminders are flagged along the way, like fasting before intrathecal. The intrathecal icon is a bed at an angle, showing that the feet need to be higher than the head after this procedure. The parents are responsible for oral medication, so road signs are located on specific days, reminding when to start or stop a certain home medication road signs directing to the patient's specific path. The child is guided by and can identify with the character named Lily, who went through this journey herself. In Zoom Out, the layout is like a board game with a positive child's look and feel, 
also inspired by roadmaps and train line diagrams, so it will be intuitive and easily used. In addition to the protocol path elements, there is also an explanation of oral medications, legend, and abbreviations. The illustrated roadmaps of the protocol are broken down into in-clinic boards, explaining step-by-step step the phases of the treatment. As the journey is long, patients and parents are introduced to their own path to recovery according to their phase. This is the division for the IOBFM protocol. For Altogether protocol, the illustrations are complete, and we are now dividing, dividing them into the boards. The boards are printed and packed in a box for easy use at the clinic. At the beginning of each phase, the doctor and the family open the protocol's illustrated map on the desk as a board game, so the child and the parent can follow the path and instructions. In the following visits, they can open the map and look together at the progress, happy with what they accomplished and behind them, and look forward to what's ahead. The roadmap is digitalized and all the additional treatment-related information is provided on web pages and videos. The use of the Polaris communications tool starts at the clinic and continues to a website so parents will be able to absorb the information again on their own time and pace. Here we can see the digitalized roadmap. Lily is guiding us along the path. Each day of treatment offers information related to what needs to happen on that day. There are also videos to explain complex information in an accessible way, such as procedures and what is leukemia. The homepage contains a great variety of useful information valid across all ALL treatments protocols. Divided into sections, symptoms to look out for, useful guides, video gallery, and become the expert. It is written in a way that allows anyone, a parent or a patient of any age, to relate and understand. We can see here a peep into the web pages of the different sections. Managing emotions, the content is accompanied by illustrations that not only complement the content, but also help the reader to better understand and remember the information. Another example, diet and nutrition. The information is presented in a straightforward, friendly, and attractive manner. We will watch one of the videos now. This one explains what is central venous line. What is a central venous line? You might have been told that you're gonna get a central venous line. It's normal if you feel a bit anxious about it. This video is here to help you understand more about what a central venous line is used for, how it's placed, and some other things to think about. And don't forget, your care team is always there to help you. A central venous line is a small, flexible tube that is put into a vein in your body. It's there to make it easier to give you medicines. Remember the video, What is Leukemia? Where we saw the factory making white blood cells that couldn't do their job properly? Well, the central venous line is there to give you treatment that will help make these white blood cells work as they're supposed to. Also, if you need it, your central venous line can be used to give you certain types of blood. And it makes it much simpler and painless to take blood samples so that your care team can get the information they need. It's really very clever and it will stay with you until you no longer need it. How will you get a central venous line? Your central venous line will be placed into your neck and chest, or in some cases, your arm. It'll be put in place by a member of your care team. They'll give you some anesthetic so that you're sleeping and you won't feel any pain. When you wake up after the procedure, you'll be in a recovery room where you can rest and see your parents. It might feel a little bit uncomfortable for a few days after, but that will pass soon. Looking after your central venous line. Your central venous line will be checked pretty often by a nurse or your parents. It's important to take care of it as it's taking care of you. Keep it nice and clean to stop any infections from happening and always wash your hands. If it ever hurts or the skin around it becomes red, make sure you tell your nurse, doctor, or parents. It might seem like a lot to start with, but it'll become natural over time. Some kids say they don't even know it's there. 
Now you know a bit more about what a central venous line is. And remember, you can always ask your care team and they can explain everything. We welcome you to visit the website and explore the videos, the other content, and the digital. On behalf of the Polaris team, thank you.